And welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So we have our channel week and weekly update and review. Take a look at the top 10 on Steam, an article from the news. And then I do have a game recommendation this week. So we'll uh, hit that and then we'll wrap everything up. So it should be a fairly short video. Let's go ahead and open up the calendar. And uh, last week we did get Steam episode uh, 25 uploaded. Or 26 rather, I'm sorry. 26 went up on Thursday. That's the wrong episode number. Let me edit that real quick. Should be 26. And then last night we got the uh, terminal part one uploaded. And now we're working on the channel update. So this coming week, I'm going to get out Steam Library episode 27. I am working on a video for setting up a racing wheel and a uh, flight stick on Linux. Um, that may not be up this coming week. I'm kind of messing around with it right now. Uh, trying to figure out and tweak a few things on it so <clears throat> so stand by on that that may be the following week or maybe even later than that but then on uh this week also coming up uh, the terminal part two of our terminal walkthrough the terminal commands rather and then of course we'll have the channel update and review either next saturday or sunday so that's the outlook and um, taking a look back here quite a few videos have gone up this past month so anyway um, we'll go ahead and close this out and Take a look at the channel update. So really nothing um, nothing to talk about on the channel. Uh, we have a few new subscribers. So for those of you who are new, welcome. I uh, hope you are enjoying the content and getting something out of it. And for those of you who've been watching, a hearty thank you to you, uh, especially for those of you who've been around for quite a while now. And um, I am still working on the uh, banner for the channel. I have not had a chance yet to tweak it and get it, uh, get the size fixed, but I am working on that. That should be up hopefully pretty soon. And other than that, though, really not a whole lot on the channel itself. So we can go ahead and take a look at an article of news, and I have one already from 9 to 5 Linux. For those of you uh, Mint users, or those of you curious about Mint or maybe want to download it, now's a great time. Linux Mint 22 Wilma is now available for download, and here's what's new. So we'll take a quick look at this. Linux Mint 22 is now available for download as the latest stable release of this popular Ubuntu-based operating system for the masses featuring the Cinnamon X XFCE and Mate desktop environments. Dubbed Wilma, uh, Linux Mint 22 is based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, long-term support, and Noble Numbat uh, operating system series and uses the Linux kernel 6.8. Um, it will receive security updates until 2029. That's quite a long time. And new kernel versions as well as, oh, I'm sorry, and new kernel versions as they're available upstream in the Ubuntu 24.04 LTS repositories. Let's scroll down here a little bit and see what's new or what's included. So we have Linux Mint 22 comes with Pipewire as a default sound server, support for the new Debian Deb 8.22 format, GTK4 support for themes, improved HIDPI support during boot, better language support, artwork improvements, and FAT20, or I'm sorry, FAT32 in file system transport mode, support for the ISO images. Uh, we also have software-wise, uh, Linux Mint 22 features the Mozilla Thunderbird email client as native dev package, a new GNOME online account GTK independent X app to support the online accounts functionality, and a new web app called Matrix which is pre-installed by default and connects you to the Matrix chat network. Interesting. Furthermore, it features JXL, JPEG XL, image support for PixImage Viewer. A confirmation dialog pop-up when deleting a snapshot in the time shift backup tool. It also disables unverified flat pack apps by default in the software manager app, which received some welcome changes like improved multi-threading, a new preferences package or, pa or page, and a banner slideshow. In addition, Software Manager now loads faster than before. The main window appears instantly. On top of all that, Linux Mint 22 comes with a new package called XApp Thumbnailer GIMP, which provides a thumbnailer for GIMP. Oh, that, that is really interesting. Uh, and an updated XFCE4 XApp status plugin tray applet that allows you to configure icon sizes and for full color and symbolic icons. Huh, very interesting. So if you want to go to the release notes, you can check those out. Uh, LinuxMint.com. And I'll put these links in the description below. 
All right, so not much more else in the news. Well, there's quite a bit in the news, actually, but this is just the one article that struck me and I wanted to share with you. So we'll go ahead and close this out and check out the top 10 on Steam. So we have the top 10 on Steam right now and the top 10 games. The First Descendant, Elden Ring, Counter-Strike 2, Path of Exile, Warframe, Once Human, Dead by Daylight, No Man's Sky, Baldur's Gate 3, and Earth Defense Force 6. Again, I'm not counting Elden Ring, Shadow of the Retreat, that's a DLC, and of course the Steam Deck is not a game. Let's check out the most played. Top 10 most played currently, we have Counter-Strike 2, Dota 2, Banana, PUBG Battlegrounds, Path of Exile, Once Human, Elden Ring, and Grand Theft Auto 5. Rust and Apex Legends. All right, let's check out the top 10 on the Steam Deck currently. And doesn't look like much has changed since last week. Elden Ring, No Man's Sky, Stardew Valley, Baldur's Gate 3, Bellatro, Grand Theft Auto 5, Slay the Spire, Fallout 4, Red Dead 2, and Hades. All right, so we'll go ahead and move into the last section here. I do want to, I do have a game I want to recommend to you, something I've been playing a little bit and really enjoying it actually. And it is on Steam. It is called She Wants to Kill Me. Yes, that is the actual name of the game. Let's go to the store and let's look it up. She wants to, oh, I'm sorry, she wants me dead, not she wants to kill me. Uh, this game is $7.99 on Steam right now, and I've been playing it, and I'll show you a little clip here of some gameplay. It's a fun game, very difficult. Well, I say very difficult, but for me, it's a bit challenging. Uh, for you, it might be a walk in the park. But anyway, so check out the gameplay, and then we'll wrap it up.
wraps up our weekly update and channel review. So thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next video. So stay safe out there and have a good one.